What's going on, you tubanites? This is your man, t -Ball. Welcome to Lords of the Lombox. And this is a Mikey Sutton Geekosity Scoop Jam. That's right. Welcome to Mikey Sutton Geekosity Scoop Jam. The official Geekosity website launches today at geekositymag.com. That's geekositymag, like magazine, dot com. And to celebrate, Lords of the Lombox is dropping two exclusive scoops from Mikey Sutton and his new website. So make sure you check that out today, boys and girls. It's going to be lots and lots of fantastic geeky stuff. First off, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, notification bell, all that good stuff. We just hit 5,000 subs and we're going to be doing a 5,000 subs giveaway really soon. So make sure you stay tuned, hit the notification bells, the like buttons and all that good stuff and subscribe so you don't miss any great content that we drop. The following is scoop number one in conjunction with our friend Warren at the Cosmic Wonder. So let's get right to it. They live for darkness. The hellish heroes of Midnight Suns has been tossed back and forth between TV and film the past few years in terms of development. Jeff Loeb wanted them for Hulu with Ghost Rider and Hellstrom, but that changed when Blade was suddenly greenlit and Feige took over Marvel TV. It's been revealed to Mikey Sutton that the Midnight Suns is being positioned to form in Blade 2. That's right, they're already talking about a Blade sequel. With the Johnny Blaze Ghostwriter discussed to cameo in the first film. However, who else would be in the Midnight Suns? Now that's where part two is a Lords of the Long Box exclusive. So our part of this scoop is we actually have a roster that they want to use for the Midnight Suns. You know, if you've been watching Lords of the Long Box for the last two years or so, we've been really bullish on the Midnight Suns. We know that they were being developed. So now part of this scoop is the Midnight Suns are being talked about to consist of Blade, the Johnny Blaze version, Ghost Rider, Jennifer Kale, Man-Thing, Werewolf by Night, and Nadine Hassan. I know I was going to mess that up, but I'm not redoing it. Nadine Hassan, a.k.a. Glyph. First appearance is the Howling Commandos of S.H.I.E.L.D. number one. First appearance of Jennifer Kale is Adventures into Fear, Man-Thing number 11. Uh, you know what the first appearance of Man-Thing and World of My Night is. So basically, it's an all-supernatural team of the Midnight Suns. Uh, depending on what website you go to, uh, it's either Ghost Rider Volume 3, number 31, or Ghost Rider Volume 3, number 28. Uh, there's some, there's Wikipedia and Comic Vine both put the Midnight Suns first appearance as Ghost Rider 28. Uh, the unofficial Marvel Wiki that's editable by users says it's Ghost Rider number 31. Either one of those are great books to get, so very excited by this. It's good to see the darker supernatural side of the Marvel Universe coming to fruition because they have tons and tons of of great characters in that corner and we said ever since doctor strange is opening up the multiverse of madness you got all these great characters as well as some of the new books that they're coming out with that's leading to the second scoop all right let's get right to it we've been teasing this for a few days and if you've been watching the cover price top 10 this book has been on there for a couple of weeks this wasn't on this week but for the last three or four weeks it's been on there so what is it scoop number two boys and girls marvel studios wants to become stranger with the success of Doctor Strange and the increasing popularity of the character, Disney has been wondering how they can spin off the property with others similarly magical creations. They've got their wish fulfilled with the comic book series Strange Academy. Speculated from the beginning with as possible MCU adaptation, Sutton is hearing that there is serious interest in making that happen. With no development has begun yet, Feige is a massive fan of the Harry Potter films, and this will allow him to have a franchise that echoes a series blend of youth, sorcery, and fun. According to Mikey Sutton sources, Strange Academy is being discussed to be introduced after Brother Voodoo makes his debut. He will be among the personnel instructing the kids, just like in the comics. We're talking years from now, so have patience, as Captain America would recommend. Patience. An animated version has been whispered about along with a possible live action movie. Insiders have told Mikey Sun that Strange Academy has too much commercial potential to be limited to Disney Plus. Mm. Wow, that's a lot to unpack there. So if you've been a comic book collector, comic book speculator, things of those nature, do you remember Strange Academy 1 came out about four or five months ago with limited fanfare you know it came out right before the COVID shutdown of diamond distribution so there was a lull between new comics and strange academy came out one came out there was a peach Moko variant the j scott campbell variant and the opena uh, breakfast club homage variant they were nice but nobody would they really weren't jumping up in price it wasn't until i would say about a month ago 
this book started jumping up on the radar, appearing on our top 10, second prints coming out, people were buying them up, and sure enough, we've always said there are people that belong to secret groups or cabals, you might want to say, and they hear about this news because they work directly with the studio, they tell their friends, they buy up all the first issues before any official announcements are done, and that's why this channel was created, so that sometimes we can get you that early information so you can get in at cheaper levels to buy the book but now hopefully this gets announced soon it's not going to be for a while so you got a chance to collect strange academy one you know there's great covers out there and just continue to buy the series it has about seven appearances in the first issue itself with characters like emily bright doyle doyle dormammu shaley moonpedal calvin morris desi germain gooselog zoe Alvi and Eric and Toth, who I believe are our Asgardian uh, brothers. I think they're frost giants or something along those lines. It's a great little read. It's the perfect thing. It's like Xavier's School of Gifted Youngsters meets the uh, Hogwarts with sorcery. Doctor Strange sometimes makes an appearance. Scarlet Witch does. They have all the magic users kind of teaching the young kids that are coming up through the Marvel comics how to use their powers of magic. So really excited to see that sometimes you see these books moving on the aftermarket and sometimes there's no rhyme or reason but most of the time there is and sure enough go out and get those strange academy books boys and girls so huge shout out to mikey sutton congratulations on geekosityMag.com. i can't wait to see it i can't wait till you guys to see it so make sure you like this video check out our friends at the cosmic wonder and then go check out mikey's website that launches today till next time boys and girls keep digging in the long boxes peace out